fascinating history. But before that, let's head to a nature reserve in West Norfolk where Hannah Pettifer has been to see some spectacular displays. As the harvest moon gives way to the rising sun, the Snettisham spectacular begins. Thousands of wading birds are pushed off the mudflats by the rising tide, forced into the sky to create a swirling mass of wings and beaks, a sight unparalleled anywhere in the UK and the perfect spot for any wildlife photographer. Normally when I film down on the Essex coast, you know, we may have 1,500 <laughs> or something, or other, but up here it's thousands and thousands and thousands. Just, just to see, and how they work out, they, you know, they, how they could all fly and miss one another. It's just an absolutely incredible sight. It's something everybody should see one, at least once. I mean, it's phenomenal, isn't it? We've been standing here for, you know, about 15 minutes and they're still swirling yeah, around yeah. in the sky. There are more than 20 species of wading bird here on the wash. It's the biggest area of mudflats in the UK, rich feeding ground for the birds. The knot makes up the biggest population and the most striking formations in the sky. Around 70,000 made it to this spectacular, but that number will eventually double as more arrive from Canada and Greenland. It's not certain why the knot make these incredible formations. Sometimes it's just to go to better ground, sometimes to escape a predator, but most of the time they just seem happy to swirl around for no apparent reason, seemingly unaware of the spectacular effect they're creating in the sky. Once the knot finish their display, they drop down into a nearby lagoon. Crammed together on the smallest area of land, they wait until the tide recedes, when they can then return to the mudflats. And if you have a look at, through, the, uh, through the lens there, you can actually see them oh. all, all, all jostling about. Because from, from the, the, the naked eye, you just see grey. Like yes, that's three, right. Three islands of grey. You grey, don't see yeah. the movement, you don't see the individual no, no. birds. It's, it's phenomenal. But it is just absolutely, you, you can't get a fag paper between them, can you? And it, it also shows that how important, you know, these mudflats are. And, you know, we, you know, we must, must look after them and, and uh, the RSPB are doing a fantastic job of that. And uh, to have these spectacles and, um, you know, to come here and, and see them is, is really amazing, you know, absolutely amazing. There are only a handful of days a year when the Snettisham Spectacular can be seen. The tide has to be at its very highest, forcing the knot off the mudflats and into the sky. But its rarity adds to its appeal, attracting people from across the country to witness a true spectacle. Wow, how amazing is that? I'd love to see that myself. Yeah, I've seen Murmurations before.